Hello, today we're going to be talking about what whey protein does, why you shouldn't even care, as well as some really cool nifty benefits you may not know about. Now down below there's this link where I'm giving away a free video guide on shopping and using dietary supplements. Now when it comes to whey protein, what do you think the supplement is used for? Probably something to do with fitness, maybe some weightlifting, right? What may, what may surprise you is that it can be actually used to do other things like improve the immune system, help with weight loss, slow the deterioration of your body. That's kind of cool. Um, even help with blood sugar levels. Now protein in general is, some, is one of these things just the human body just really needs. We can't really make it. We can't really store it. Um, so we definitely need a steady supply of it. And you probably already know it of course helps with muscles. Okay? If you don't have protein then <laughs> It's going to be tough to build muscles, okay, because that's what it's used for. Okay. But besides muscles, you may not know that's actually a very a key, important part when it comes to making bones, skin, blood, even cartilage. And I kind of need cartilage because I mean, do you really want arthritis? No. That's what happens if you don't have enough cartilage. So that's good to have. Oh, and don't let me forget, it definitely does help to make enzymes, hormones, and other chemicals that enable your body to work like a very good well-oiled machine like a Porsche or something you know and uh, I don't know I like Porsches maybe because my old roommate used to work on a lot of them but uh, German engineering one thing one last thing about that I used to have a BMW at 345,000 miles I drove that thing all the way from up by Portland Oregon to Texas so just saying okay back on topic alright now contrary to what you may believe not all protein is the same. Some have all the amino acids you need, and this is called a complete protein. And foods that have this would be like fish, eggs, cheese, and meats. Now, incomplete proteins are missing some amino acids. Uh, they're mostly found in, in foods such as like beans, nuts, and corns. Have it. Now, if you only eat incomplete proteins, you're going to be missing some things, and it might like not be good for you. you could be missing some growth on your nails and maybe your hair or something <laughs> maybe that's why I'm bald now whey protein is a complete protein and that means it has all the amino acids your body needs uh, plus it doesn't have like the saturated fat and maybe the mercury with fish so that's that's kind of a nice little bonus now how it's made is from milk after milk is pasteurized where it's basically heated to kill off any bad bacteria the next step is where scientists separate the casein uh, from the whey. And it, casein really is there to make cheese, so it's a byproduct of cheese. Then comes the purification process, and finally it's dried, which they, they take all the moisture out of it and it's left with powder. And that's how it's made. Okay. Now, when it comes to buying this stuff, there's actually three different types of whey protein out there. That includes the concentrate version, the isolate, and there's the hydrosylate. Now, to make things very, very simple for you, Concentrate is really just a wholesome version of a protein. So it's, it's going to have some fat in it uh, because it's a dairy protein as well as some lactose as well. Now isolate is really, is really when they just isolate the protein. That's why it's called that way. So, you know. And a hydrosylate is a pre-digested protein uh, that's very easily absorbed. Now whey in general is uh, highly absorbed and bioavailable. So that's not really a huge issue. It is more expensive, uh, hydrosylate, and basically it's great marketing. It's like buying a car that's uh, a lot more expensive to get a few extra bells and whistles that you're probably not going to use. That's just my opinion and thoughts on it. Now, of course, none of these choices are horribly bad. You can use any of them. It'd be great. I prefer the isolate uh, simply because, well, I don't want the, the saturated fat. Now, apart from all the amazing great things I just talked about, this stuff boosts the production of glutathione. Have you ever heard of that stuff before? Have you ever heard of an antioxidant before? Okay. Well, antioxidants that kill harmful free radicals, slow the destruction of uh, your body and organs, through aging. Yeah, only somewhat important, right? Now, here's the thing: many health experts really feel that glutathione is your body's most powerful antioxidant. It's like the best of the best. It's the, uh, the Chuck Norris of karate or the uh, Peyton Manning of football. At least I think he's the best. <laughs> now, most people don't know about this because, uh, well, the body actually makes it. 
In fact, some health experts believe that the most, some of the most serious illnesses someone actually experiences is because they have low levels of glutathione. So, come on, that's kind of cool, right? Glutathione. You probably didn't even know about that today. Now, how it helps with weight loss is because it grows muscles. And uh, muscles burn calories. And the more muscles you have, the easier time you, you will have, of course, losing weight. So it's like increasing your metabolism. Also, many ex uh, people out there really feel that uh, it helps someone feel full whey protein, so they don't want to eat. Now, if you are interested in getting a whey protein or any supplement for that matter, like I mentioned, there's that link where I'm giving away like a free report as well as a video guide all about the supplement world out there that can make shopping for supplements easier, simple, and well, it helps a lot of people. Talks about warning signs of risky product, uh, herbal remedies to consider for certain conditions, and what to take in general. There's well, some bad choices out there. Plus, it's free. And it's a lot of fun. At least I had fun making it. <laughs> so, thank you so much for your time. But please check out that link. I uh, hope this video helped a few people. Also, leave a comment too. Appreciate that. Have an awesome, great rest of your day. Take care. Till next time. Cheers.